in Malvern, PA, with a low chance of precipitation, but that will soon change. Stay tuned in for more. A Florida woman was saved from a stroke after she asked for help from her two dogs last month. Maureen Hatcher lived with her two dogs, Bella and Sadie. She was alone with the pups at her home when she, was when she suddenly fell down and found herself barely able to speak. She could not even call for help. When the dogs came to investigate, they immediately ran for help. Hatcher's lab running out of her front door and into the street. Minutes later, they can be seen returning with Hatcher's neighbor, Alexander Nascola. Young Teddy Salentano in third grade at St. Patrick's School, buying 600 cans for the school food drive. He, he recently talked to Teddy. Hello, uh, I am here. I'm going to be reporting Teller Salentano. So lately, it got 600 cans for the school food drive. Do you do a lot of charity in your own book? Uh, yes, my parents are very generous and donate to a lot of foundations. <laughs> do you consider yourself kind? Yes, I have a lot of friends and I'm nice to everybody. Okay. How the heck do you get your parents to buy so many cans? Because they like to do a lot of charity work and they just do it for And just one more question. Why do you do that? Because, you know, you got to be kind one time or multiple times in your life, so, you know, you do what you got to do. Thank you, Jay. Now back to Reed. Today's news is about a young boy with lymphoma. He was first diagnosed in November 2013. He battled several rounds of chemotherapy, but that wasn't enough because the cancer came back a second time. He is now battling acute melanoid. Cancer was even more aggressive than the first one, spreading throughout 70% of the body. He, he then went for two more rounds of cancer. I'm saying that one more, one more hope is that he would have a life-saving stem cell transplant. After two years, doctors said he was completely cured from the cancer. The Sixers recently traded Sixers won in the big trade. Early in the morning on Friday, the Sixers acquired Tobias Harris and Boban Marjanovic from the LA Clippers. The Sixers traded Landry Shaman and future draft picks. The Sixers now have arguably the best starting five in the NBA. The Sixers GM, Elton Brand, said the window is now. The Sixers are gone for it all this season, and the Sixers fans are very excited about it. Right now, the Sixers are in the Eastern Conference, and they're inching up on the pace. With all their star players, and they want to win now. Uh, now on to the weather. Uh, it's going to be a snowy day in Melbourne. Temperature, precipitation, and wind speeds are all going to be on the incline today. With an average of 32 degrees, we should stay home um, and hope for a snow day. Snow is 24% likely at 9 o'clock, and it shoots up to 98% likely between 12 and 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. Stay safe and make sure to enjoy the snow day. As you can see, it's going to be a, a wintry mix uh, in our area. Yes. Uh, now on to uh, read. 
had just minutes away from possibly getting thrown to the jaws of the trash dump after as a new channel of Ed Life thanks to a kind New York City couple. Raymond Dinsheimer, a 28-year-old Bronx resident, walked past a pile of garbage bags with his girlfriend on Wednesday morning when a cat carrier in the heat caught their attention. Local news station JNRP News follows the story. Moving a bag aside showed there was a live cat inside. He brought, he brought the cat home and his girlfriend taunted Little Wanderers, Little Wanderers New York City, a Bronx-based cat rescue group. The group, which called Raymond a hero in an Instagram post, named the large black and white cat Raymond after his rescuer. Though he's, she's grateful to Raymond, and glad Little Wanders was able to help. Broken is still shocked by the way Raymond was abandoned in the first place. To really throw a cat in the trash, a friendly cat in the trash, who does that? What's your final statement? Uh, this is JNRP News. We're signing off.